I've had a couple of people send me requests on just how to throw a quadratic formula into their calculator. So here is uh, an example. And I'm going to go into program. And if you'll notice, I already have uh, a quadratic formula program on here. And let's just take a look at what it says. So I'm going to look at edit. And the program, I named it quad. Now this prompt and this display, when you go to enter these in, you don't type them in. You don't type in the letters. This is actually a command that you bring up. And I'll show you how to bring those up. Now let's look at the structure. I said prompt A, B, C. So it's going to ask for variables A, B, and C. And as you know, like AX squared plus BX plus C. Um, and then it says display. And it just does a calculation. And notice that it has the parentheses. Negative B plus the square root of B squared minus 4AC. Close off those uh, parentheses. Divided by in parentheses 2 times A. And then it has the minus case. So notice that the plus or minus. So display show me the value of this calculation. Display, show me the value of this calculation. And this is just a simple program. It doesn't uh, check to see if it's going to spit out anything valid um, or not. Like, you know, if you try to take square root of a negative or something like that, it, that would just be the mode for your calculator. So how do I enter this in? So I'm going to quit this. Go back into, I'm going to quit this. Uh, go back into program. And uh, to make a new program, you choose new. So I'm going to arrow, uh, arrow over to new. And then you would name it. And the alpha key is locked at this point. So you can name it whatever you want. I already have one named quad. I'm just going to name this uh, AAA just because I'm just going to uh, delete it later. Hit enter. And so I have this program with a certain name. And so the first thing I want to do is prompt for those variables A, B, and C. So you can get to that in the program menu. There's an input output menu. So you hit program, and then you scroll over to input output, and you actually choose that command prompt. Hit enter. That'll bring that prompt command back to the screen. And then I want a prompt for A, B, and C. So alpha A, comma, alpha B, comma, alpha C. And then I hit enter just to go to the next line in my program. And now, now that I have the A, B, and C in the program in the memory, now I'm going to, I want it to display my calculations. So I'm going to go back into the program menu, the input output part, to choose that display command. And then I have to tell it what I want it to display. And I want it to do a calculation and then display that calculation. So it's going to be uh, negative B, alpha B, plus, and then I need the square root of, and I know it's negative B plus or minus square root, B squared minus 4AC. So I'm going to put that in. B squared minus 4AC. And now I need to close off the parentheses for the square root. And then I need to close off the parentheses for the numerator, the fraction. So there's my top part. And then divided by, and I want to divide by 2A. So if I just put just 2a right here, it'll only divide by 2. So I'm going to put the 2a in parentheses. Just like that. All right, so there's my plus case. So then I would do the same thing again with a minus case. Program, input, output, display. And again, that same exact thing. Uh, negative b minus square root of uh, b squared whoops, hit the wrong button. That's okay. I can just go back. Uh, B squared minus 4AC. And double parentheses, close those off. Divided by parentheses 2A. And uh, now and I can hit enter, go to the next one. Now to get out of this, I'm just going to hit quit. So second mode. And now I'm just going to test my program. Uh, so I have that AA. So execute will run it. That brings up the command, and then I enter in some things. Let's see, 1, 4, and 4. And I'm just going to test it and see if it actually will give me some answers. Negative 2, 2. Test some things that you know. Uh, 1, 4, and negative 5. And it looks like it's working. All right, uh, hopefully that works for you. If not, send me a message, send me a question, and let me know uh, what you're thinking.